Hello, friends. We are back at it. Uh, it's been a while since we've done this, and uh, things look considerably different now. We have upgraded in various ways, some of which you can already see in the frame. I mean, this giant thing on my side. And some things you cannot see in the frame, which is the giant light over there. We also have more cameras, more switching, more everything. Uh, and we're going to talk about it a little bit before we get started, just so we have we give time to people to join. So, uh, well, yeah, the first thing to talk about is we got new lights. So this is a giant Godox VL150 that I promised I was never going to buy lights. And there's just a project coming up that requires lights, and it's better to own them than to rent at this point for the amount of shooting that we're doing. Uh, so that's it. The other thing is Blake's back. I haven't seen Blake in like several weeks, uh, but now he is also lit and you can see him in the mirror. <laughs> and I wouldn't be doing this if Blake wasn't here. So every time I tried, it has failed miserably. Uh, uh, finally, people are joining in, so feel free to let us know your concerns and your fears and all of your inner desires in the chat. Uh, uh, I don't know where I was going with that, so uh, just forget about it. Yeah, so we have a different setup. We have this giant arm here. Um, I was contacted by Ulanzi and they sent me a bunch of stuff to test it out. And honestly, this is not leaving this table ever again. Um, this is... Uh, streaming arm, it's very useful. If you're streaming, there's a light up here that is just out of frame. Oh, Blake's got it, all right. Uh, there's a light here. This other thing is holding my phone. And the microphone is here too, so we kind of got rid of three stands while just clamping everything to the table, which is excellent. I'm loving it. Uh, I also got a tiny little, where's our visual? Oh, ha, ha. Hello. <laughs> Which camera are we on? We're on the master. Okay. So I also got this tiny little uh, tripod with quarter inch screw that you can expand as a portable selfie stick tripod that can hold my phone so I can stop using a gimbal for it and just use this tiny tripod. It's very, very lightweight. And the other things that we got... Uh, the most fun thing, I think, though, is this contraption, which is like sunglasses for your lenses. I mean, I added sunglasses, but it's just this articulating um, mechanism for adding filters. And I have the Siri lens here. So it's kind of a step ring, but also a quick swap mechanism. So if I want to get rid of my ND filter, I just flip it up instead of having to unscrew it on and off. I think I'm going to be using this with diopters a lot. I'm actually considering getting more of those, not just the one that I have right now. So I can rig all the lenses with them. Uh, I don't know, might be going overboard with it. Anyway, um, so this is my newest uh, obsession toy kind of thing. It's pretty fun. And I got this tiny arm. So these are more of the camera oriented things that Ulanzi does and uh, they do a lot of stuff for phones and uh, portable devices, so I found these camera things that are pretty good. This is a very solid arm that goes from 3 eighths with locating pins to a quarter inch. And also the bottom of each side has 3 eighths uh, screws, so you can connect things to the bottom of it. Not sure what for, but it's good having the option. And this thing locks very hard. So if I want to add a monitor to my setup, this is probably the way to do it. And I'm just loving how it feels. So I want to thank Ulanzi for sending us all this cool stuff. And yeah, you might also notice the image blinking black or distorting in some way uh, every once in a while. We are using a weird, very cheap HDMI switcher for the first time today. And that's what happens when we switch cameras. Uh, 
and it's just we're going to roll with it it's a concept now so yeah just so you're aware um christian's joining us in the chat here christian's a member thanks for being a member and a uh, tilta rig for the a7s3 mm, i see uh, i've been talking with tilta hopefully we're gonna get something working together so maybe that'll be it and uh got the big bolex avatar what big bolex avatar 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 Hmm? The oh yeah, the mem. I see. Yes, you did. Uh, it only goes up from there. The longer you're a member. And rude guy is saying hello from the UK. Well, hello from Vancouver. And thanks for joining us. Uh, I'm glad to inspire. <laughs> uh, what else do I have here? So, yeah, I mentioned the lights before. We're getting close to starting to shoot more things. Um, the so-called anamorphic cookbook that I posted on the group a little while ago. It's a lot and it's gonna go, members are gonna have early access to it. You're gonna have access a month before everybody else. So if you're on the fence about becoming a member, you're gonna get some premium content going on. Uh, modules one and two are in partnership with Atlas Lens Company and I got six of their lenses right here that we're going to use to shoot the, the course and all the classes. And it's going to be a blast. Uh, so we're getting ready for that production. And that's the most skeleton crew ever. It's what Blake and I, my sister who lives here. And that's pretty much it because lockdowns are going uh, very intense in Vancouver. The situation with COVID has taken a turn for the worse and we are just not seeing anyone. So stay safe, it's the end of the year. Let's uh, have a healthy winter and hope that the vaccine comes soon. Soon is how I say that word now. <laughs> okay, Rude Guys just bought the FX9. Any idea on Sony lenses with adapters to create the anamorphic look, single focus ideally? Um, check out Siri, that's my, my easiest answer. Siri comes with native e-mount and you can just mount it on your camera and be done with it. And it's single focus. Otherwise, you're looking at a much more complicated and expensive setup, um, which you might not love. You might, you, you, you'll enjoy it, but it's not as straightforward and it's gonna cost you much more than the Siri does. I realize that when I kick the table, Everything kind of shakes. Yeah. <laughs> Can't kick the table anymore, guys. I'm sorry about that. Um, so yeah, uh, shoot your questions. Let me know what's going on. I'm going to do a quick recap on what we're doing today. And hopefully, we're going to get somewhere with finishing the process of modifying this lens. It's been a while, right? So... Hello, hello. Uh, thanks for joining. What we have here is a Schneider Cinelux uh, ES, and it's wow, it's dusty. First thing that I notice. <laughs> this, How long has it been since you used it? Yeah, it's been. I think the last time I opened this was for our our stream, so more than three weeks ago. Uh, do a little bit of this. Uh, this is a, a two times anamorphic adapter and it's great. I love it, but it has some internal reflections. I showed it on the first video. I shot a sample to compare it and that's also shown in the recap that we posted last week, I think. Um, and I've seen some people discuss on Facebook if this lens has or does not have internal reflections. And apparently there's different versions of it going around. Mine has some internal reflections and I can see it kind of whenever there's a light shining in. There's a little bit of veiling glare, which is that white halo thing. And internal reflections that kick up as white instead of just not existing. So the idea is to break that reflection with a material 
that is kind of velvety. Uh, Lucas has just joined the chat, and I'd like to thank Lucas for sending me this thing because uh, I couldn't find it here. So we're going to put that material inside of the lens and hope that the internal reflections goes go away. Um, oh no, the gym closed again. Oh man. Well, this stream is, is happening one hour after usual, so uh, it's different. And the other thing that you're going to see on this lens is I don't have the jacket on it, the Rapido jacket. I'm actually using one of Lucas's or many of Lucas's inventions. This is the grab hole quick release mechanism, the clamp and the support. And it's a really neat, light and safe way of handling these lenses. I'm probably going to make a video about them later. But for now, I just want to show that there's notches here that the, le the rear slots in. And when this is locked to a taking lens, when you rotate this ring, you can't pull it off. So it's pretty neat. Uh, so I'm going to put this off, take it out. And I'm just going to peel everything off so we can open the back of the lens and hopefully get started on adding this, this material and closing everything back up. Um, if it goes well, it's going to be super smooth. Uh, otherwise, uh, we'll see about that. <laughs> I got to get some keys here. Phillips Zero. Let's try that. OK. Um, our audience has diminished. We have less people joining us now, but I guess it has taken a little while without streams. Uh, I also got some comments on the other videos about best strategies that avoid getting screws stripped. And one person said it's a good idea to not fully remove any screws on one side. Jesus. Uh, because that puts on pressure on the other side. So if I can remove them evenly, that's a better strategy. Um, oh shit, Prusha, Prusha is going on? What are they doing? They're announcing a new one? A new something? That's okay. They're, well, they're their own thing. <laughs> this is a very specific thing we're doing here today, so. Two new printers. Whoa. I was thinking about getting a printer, but, uh, I don't know. Uh, this room is already cluttered, so I don't think I will. Just taking all of these little parts away. Oh yeah, the other thing I learned in the meantime is that nobody corrected me. I keep calling the lenses Sirui, but apparently they want to be call it, called Surrey. Uh, nobody ever mentioned that to me, and I thought I was the only person doing it right, while everybody else in the world was doing it wrong. Well, I should have taken that hint, but anyway. Uh, from, for the next video, whenever I use those lenses again, I'm gonna be calling them Surrey. Thank you for not correcting me, guys. Amazing. Wow, so helpful. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah. Okay, Sirui. So I'm not the only one who's saying it wrong. Well, apparently we're all saying it wrong. It's Surrey. Here we go. This is my educational moment. Because this video has not had any educational value. If this video had not had any educational value so far. Okay, so we got out the, scr the screw that was tormenting our life last time. I used a different screw head, and hopefully we'll be able to get this element out of here, and uh, we'll see how this goes. <gasps> it will. It does come off. What was that? Oh, there's a tiny little shim here. Okay, so this goes here, and this shim is very 
very thin aligns with the shape of the lens very interesting get out of here little finnegan hair okay max is here hey max how's it going um sometimes signal drops and we lose contact so it's no reflection you give videos and tutorials thank you uh, if you're referring to the black screens in between camera changes that's kind of on purpose uh, we're using a very cheap $10 HDMI switcher between the GH5 and the S5 and uh, it requires Blake to press a button and it always has a weird glitch going on so that's the thing um, <laughs> Okay, um, I'm gonna try and pull this thing out and see what happens. It's kind of the thing. Oh yeah, now you can see samples of it going crazy. Oh yeah, the element just comes out. Okay, uh, what's the best way to do so? I am going to get this. No gloves. No gloves. No gloves, yeah. It's the pandemic. Gloves are for something more important. Okay. Oh, there's another spacer. Okay, there are two little spacers. This one is a little thicker. Do you see? Yep. Okay, so moving on. Um, here we go. Got it out. It is fairly thick, I would say. It's gonna go in here. Yeah, wow. Okay. So if your screws don't die in the process, this is kind of easy. So one side is flat and the other side's curved. And this is a three element group, I think. Because you can see one line, two lines, and then this is the third. So this is the three element group on the downside there is no indication of orientation here so we're gonna have to tune this when we are assembling this back together and that's probably gonna be another stream <sighs> schneider gotta love it um if we just go very fast today we are going to see where we go see where we get to so yeah okay so, oh, hey, Max, how's it going? There's two Maxes here. Uh, Max Montesi is actually helping me with a project in a couple weeks. I'm using his Zcam to shoot a giant shootout with all the lower budget anamorphic lenses that you can think of. Um, uh, and we wanted to use the same camera. That's a, a key part of it. So... Max is helping me with this full frame Z cam and we're using a PL and an MFT mount. Uh, I already got the MFT mount. So this is the front of the Schneider. I am just looking for a flashlight. Here we go. That we can shine through. And this is very much a shiny material. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm trying it's to bright. show. It's bright. Okay. Um, if I angle it, can you? You can also angle it at this camera. Okay, I'm just trying to angle it at this camera. Wow, it is bright. It's just full white. Good stuff. I'm just going to try to dim it down. But you can see there is internal reflections. And the idea after we're done with flocking is that this smooth inside surface is going to be uh, all broken up by little... How do you call them? Velvety. Velvety things. Uh, so this is it. This is we're gonna we're gonna get to it finally. We're we're doing it. We're we're gonna do it. Um, how am I gonna reach in here? Okay. It looks more concerning than it actually is. I think. Um, all right. Don't worry. I said it. It's super easy. Can only go two directions. Okay. I'm going to take your word for it, Leonard. Um, here we go. Lucas, what are you talking about? Do you get bothered if I say Voigtlander? Um, I'm hoping that that is the wrong pronunciation just to 
laugh at you guys. Uh, please feel free to correct me. There is a guy knocking with a box. Hold up, guys. I gotta get a box. Uh, my sister's on it. Never mind. Uh, we're getting a box. I don't know what it is. Leila, is it for me? Can I have it? <laughs> okay, so the front window. I have no idea what this is. Well, I'll open it later. Um, the front window in this office sees the door. So the guy just knocked on the door and was like, Hey, I got a box for you. Uh, so that's that. Um, yeah. Okay, so we're getting more people joining us. Uh, but here we go. So the idea is I'm going to cut a piece of this. How much of this am I going to cut it? I, there's a way to find out. There's a mathematical way to find out. Should I do it in one piece? So I'm looking inside of this. You can tell I've never done this, right? <laughs> I'm looking inside and there's one straight line, like surface, another straight surface, and then two curved surfaces. And I'm wondering, should I cut four pieces and stick them in there? Or should I cut one piece and kind of go all around? What are your ideas? Do you see? Uh, no. Oh, here's Max. I would suggest a silicone man from Amazon to place lenses on while servicing. That's an excellent suggestion. Um, I will get that. I will tell Ariana that I want that for Christmas if she's not watching. Um, but yeah, that's a pretty good idea because I should not be doing this on the table. Um, yeah, I am passing this lens to Blake so you can see. Oh, okay. So our Spanish friend is saying that we should do just one piece. And they're also asking, uh, I saw a rectimoscope and I'm lost. Uh, I would say don't go for the rectimoscope because it's too big. Okay, Strabo. For everyone, the correct way to pronounce Voigtlander is Fotlander. 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 This is hard. Uh, the in inner surface is not tapered. I'm just very close and blowing up the sound. Uh, Max, the inside surface is not tapered. Uh, there's two straight areas and two curved surfaces, but they are straight all the way down. Potlander. Potlander. Do the elements slide in there at all? Or like it's... No, I think this whole tube slides back and forth. Oh, okay. So if we do one part of it, we've done all of it. I think you're probably going to do it all in one piece. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a tough call. You think one piece would be better? Because if I mess up one piece, there's no... Yeah, that's true. It's hard to put it. Maybe four pieces is the better way to do it, and you yeah. just accept that you're going to have a little bit of reflection. Yeah, or like the overlap can be tight. Uh, what I'm going to ask is... Actually, I can get a ruler here and just see where this goes. Okay. Get an idea of how deep this is. Okay, this goes kind of five and a half. Five and a half is our number. Um, well, if you bought the lens because it was near free, then that's good enough. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I would put crashed tin foil inside of it. <laughs> I think that would make for a different, yeah, random reflections, yeah, but I think it would be less usable in the overall concept. Fotlander. Fochtlander. Fochtlander? That sounds more right. Mm. Blake, in the drawer, in like the box behind you, next to the window, bottom one, there's a blue case that has a caliper inside. Okay, 95% right. I'm going to settle for 95%. There's just some things that it's too much. 
This one, yeah. All right, so we're gonna get a caliper just to get an idea of the sizes of this more accurately. And um, how big these pieces should be. 2.65. So it's five by five. I mean, 5.5 by 2.26, 2.25. Let's round it down. These are the straight strips. So they're 5.5 long by 2.25 wide. And then the other parts is gonna be less fun, but we're gonna figure it out. Probably with a piece of string. Mm. Here we go. Uh, Falklander. Okay, as long as I'm doing it way better than most other people, I mean, what else is there to get? Uh, <laughs> um, Hello, so Trevor, I flocked two lenses and each one had made no, each case had made no difference. So I determined that sometimes the light reflects inside in unpredictable ways and off of unexpected surfaces. Very encouraging, very encouraging, sir. <laughs> and Charles, hello, how's it going? Uh, yes, we have, we have stepped up our level here. Uh, we just got a lot of cool new things. So this little strip is almost the, the size that we want it. And the 5.5 .5 is going to be here. Where is my writing utensil? Okay, so this is this. I can just go straight here. Okay. And then the most accurate tool in the universe. Boom, cut that little piece. And now this is gonna be very hard to see because it's tight in there and my hand is way too big, but I got this little strip. It should cover one of the sides pretty well. Hmm. Remember when I said it wasn't tapered? Well, I was wrong. It is a little tapered. Well, we'll do it in many parts. So here we go. <laughs> um, uh, Christopher Starkey is asking if I can explain how single focus anamorphics work, not the the ones that use a variable diopter. I'm assuming you meant Cire and also Cine lenses. And if that's the case, you should subscribe now because that's one of the early videos in the anamorphic cookbook, which is upcoming content. So. I'm going to cover that, but it's definitely not something I can risk explaining on a live stream. Uh, I need some more mental preparation for that. All right, I'm just pulling this away and I'm going to try to get started. Let's go. Here we go. No going back now. Okay. Okay. It definitely looks darker. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah? Yeah, it still has, you know, it's not super black, but... It's, it's not better. matte black, but yeah, there's less reflections, hopefully. Well, we'll find out when we're done. <laughs> oh yeah, now that I can see the screen, yes. Um, I'm gonna use this tiny little piece here to cut, wait. I only need it to be 5.5 long, so. Uh, to make the triangle top that I need for that. And 5.5. There's just one little notch past this. Yeah. Such a peaceful live stream today. Ah. Okay, so if you wanna, thanks to Trevor or Moses, I, I've always confused, man, you confuse me. Um, if you wanna buy this type of paper, uh, there's a name for it on Amazon, but also you can buy it from Edmund Optics. 
and uh, a contact backing or no backing at all. And this one has a contact backing. Okay, so um, we are cinemas asking, are you streaming with an HDMI switcher and one capture card? Yes, that's what we're doing. Because uh, the on a budget is very much in the title of this channel. <laughs> the very important aspect of what we're doing here is staying on a budget. Now I'm just eyeballing this and hoping for the best. So I cut this triangle. And, and I'd say this triangle was a great success. I'd say it worked. Yeah. Triangle works. Yeah, so you guys, there's always a lot of people from Germany on these live streams. I don't know. It's not that early there. What, what? brings you here i'm very curious like let's let's learn about my audience you guys tell me why are there so many germans in here do it d mars is asking if i'm selling any lenses i am not right now but i am usually selling something i'm on ebay uh you can find me there and there's also the shop at the blog which there's like mod parts and other little things that you can benefit from. Oh, How do I get this? I need to, uh, if the links work, I need to type something. Yeah. Oh, I think HTTP. Okay. It's just tferdens, right? Uh, tferdens, shop.tferdens.com. All right. Okay, so I couldn't get this as close as I wanted to the other piece. There's a little gap there. If we need to, we'll go back to it later. On the next part, on the next little bit, I will start with this triangle. And then I'm going to do the horizontal piece. Here we go. Blake's getting all the links. Yeah, guys. And everything that you buy finances this project further. So it allows us for better videos, better content, better friends, better live streams. You get the idea. Yeah, that would be pretty dope, actually, right? I don't think... Does anyone put lenses inside of cameras? I mean, cameras inside of lenses? Oh, wait. What? Put this tilted. And I'm only making it worse now. Come on. Kind of. Okay. It's going to be a collection of different parts all right uh charles is asking if we're gonna edit this down to one walkthrough and i don't think so at least not for now it's not on the plans we have so much work to do you have no idea uh it's funny keeping it a secret and at the same time over stressing about it so uh we have a lot to do and I don't know if we're going to get around to editing down this all down to one. The first two parts are edited down to one, and this one is being pretty straightforward so far. So there's not a lot of pain in there. I think this is, yeah, this is the right size. So I just got to make this 5.5 here. All right, 5.5 is here. Whoops, didn't mark. Five. Five. Make some nice lines here. And I 
<laughs> Fuck Wonder. Fuck Wonder. Well, it is the country of Iskun Schneider. Yep. They're now the same thing, but yes. You are correct. Um, modding the Cinelux even further, Ru rubbing the coating for more flares. That's a point that I want to cover later, as in you shouldn't ever do it. Uh, you shouldn't ever take off the coatings. And I want to get a trashed lens to decode it, do it the proper way, and show why you shouldn't do it while doing it. Um, but yeah, no, I don't plan. <laughs> don't plan on modifying this lens any further. I wish I had very long fingers. Two. It is so hard to do this, guys. Man, wish I knew. No. It sticks to the wrong spot, and then you have to move it. And then it's stuck. I got it. <laughs> it's all up to you to describe it to us. Yeah, it's very hard to see. I don't know how to make it more visible, but I did get it. So this one kind of overlapped with the other triangle. Um, and hopefully you can see a little bit better now. Uh, if I try this again, think I'll be some, yeah. yeah. This way? Yeah, so, yeah, I think we see it. A little bit. Yeah, I think, yeah, it's good. Okay, so now we only have the top and the bottom, which we kind of need a way to measure it. And I'm trying to figure out what's the best way to measure it. Mm. Spaced out. <laughs> I'm going to try this way of measuring. Should have done this in one. Just being like, whoop, done. <laughs> I'm going to cut a strip that is too big, and hopefully that'll allow me to fine tune it. Right? That makes sense. Some little pieces of paper here. This is gonna cut straight. My favorite part of these live streams is when you guys go off on a tangent talking to each other because it just means that there's a community here. It means that there's a group of people with similar interests and they're like, you're here to see what's happening, but at the same time you relate to each other. And that's like the best part for me. That's what I enjoy the most. Just putting it out there. Um. <laughs> okay. So this is this, how much, how long am I going to make this? Mm, I could probably whip out some crazy math with the radius and the diameter of this and uh, the circumference, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna... Oh! It flew on me? <laughs> the sound. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so let's do the eyeballing. How can I eyeball this?
until this A kind of thing here. So I'm gonna do this much. This is my line. But it's only 5.5 deep. So. What is 5.5 here? 5.5 is this. This is the depth. And what is the total? <gasps> Isn't this convenient? This little piece is exactly 11 millimeters, which is enough for two sides. All I need to do now is figure out this size here. So this is five. Mm, five. So five. is radius and five by five is here so if i go right down the middle and i cut these two i'm gonna have two pieces that go perfectly here we go um yeah i made everybody shy well you guys are gonna pick it up again i have absolute faith in you if there's a group i can rely on talking it's you guys oh my god i'm just making it worse Embarrassing people. Stop it, Dad. Um, have you guys watched anything good recently? Blake and I have been talking about what Mad Max and uh, her and um, what else? Um, there was more. The Black Klansman. Black Klansman's true. That's yeah. I have to watch that one. Queen's Gambit. A Queen's Gambit. The Queen's Gambit. Yeah, we, we binged that last week. It was a very interesting experience. Ah, okay, I figured. I understood what I was doing. So I got two pieces. They feel very short because they are. Uh, Okay, somehow I made this a lot shorter, but at the same time, it's the perfect size. And you can see. So Rogue One, can you see? Move your hand to the back so you get more lighting side. Boom. All right, let's use the flashlight again. There we go. Yeah, now you can really see what. Neat. Cool. Yeah. Okay, hopefully. I'm gonna stick these two and then make a patch for the back and then put the light, the lens back in. Oh my God, it's been 45 minutes. Wow, I thought we were not, we were going fast, but we were going slow. You've been very focused. I have been focused. Hate this part. Gah. Um, so should I give you this camera? Close-up camera? I don't know. I don't know if I can show it. Hold up. Ah. Being very unfriendly. How do I get this down to the bottom and not get it stuck before? My fingers are not long enough for this. I mess it up maybe a little bit okay can you see not oh, much one sec, sorry. yeah one of the people was commenting that uh, they removed one corner of the table slide it in hold the piece that is very smart we're gonna do it for the last one <laughs> and for all the little patches because there's yeah. gonna be patches Okay, so I'm gonna put this in here, in there. Shrabble. Shrabble? I don't know. All I know is I touched the inside of the lens and I am deeply disappointed because this is gonna be so hard to clean. 
Well, does it matter? Can like you the, not see it? <laughs> like the front. The front has a dirt up here, but the bottom has a dirt on the inside. Let me see if this helps. Can you see? Uh, yeah, I see it. Like, here ish? Yeah. Yeah. There's something there, yeah. Well, it's going to suck later. Yeah. Okay, so we only take off a quarter of the tape. Let's try that, being smart for a change. I mean, we're pretty smart here. It's just, you can always be smarter. That's why doing these live streams is fun. Because I got 18 more people to help me think this through. Imagine if it was just me. I would have given up on that stuck screw on the first episode. <laughs> here we are on episode three. Probably out of four. Okay. So I did this, and now I'm gonna slide it in all the way, very nice. Oops, going better. Definitely going better. Nope. It is going better, although I'm saying no. I'm just trying to make it perfect. Well, I can see your fingers to the front. <laughs> I can't tell if that part that part is too stuck forward. There's a tiny little strip missing again. Okay, we put that part in and it's solid and we got more fingerprints on it. Uh, here we go, now I just gotta get the rest of it out and seat it in place. We're getting somewhere. Here we go, I'm reaching it. We're getting there. It's very challenging. I might have overdone it. <sighs> We're getting there. Maybe it was. Uh... Ha! Oh, nice. Smooth. Very nice. Okay. Um, now I want to do a little bit of a patch back here. Uh, so a little patch back here, and on the other side. Um, yeah, uh, Lucas, yeah, that makes perfect sense. Uh, that's going to be the strategy for the next one, because uh, it's probably going to be easier than repeating the 17 times over. Uh, <laughs> but we have survived so far, and I'm just going to try to repurpose all the little pieces that I have left into usable pieces like this one that I can use patch a little bit of a thing um but yeah the next one that I want to do and it's going to be way harder damn I pulled out all the backing at once Stupid. There's that thing in life where it's like, it just needs to happen once. Even when I got it lined up, it doesn't do it. Ha! Ha ha! I did it. <laughs> okay. Okay, so this is better now. Where did I patch it? Don't even know. Oh, here. This is where I patched. Pretty good. Yeah, nice. Okay, cool. 
Uh, let's do two little pieces more. So that was five centimeters long, and this is going to be... About half. Five by half. How long is this piece? Nope. How long is this piece? Pretty good. And how long is this line? Okay, it's gonna be a little more than that. Oh, make it. Alright. Oh yeah, so I stopped this halfway through. The next lens that I want to do is an Elmo 2. I got an Elmo 2 here. But instead of adding this, I want to add that paint that is like the blackest paint. And it's called Black 3.0. I got it several months ago. And I haven't used it yet. Much of Blake's disappointment. I know. <laughs> We've been talking about painting something with it since the day it arrived, since before it arrived. And I haven't used it anything. Uh, Very disappointed. Voice your... You're disappointing. You're disappointment. Everybody can play the Motita. Come on. Do it now. Uh, so the idea is instead of this, I'll have to remove the glass from the other lens and uh, paint the inside and see if it becomes really matte black. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. I forgot to mark this right in the middle, which is here. Na -na. Definitely should have done just one piece over, except if I messed up, I would be very disappointed and it would be the end of the stream. This gave me a chance to mess up multiple times, just like how I did now by pulling the entire glue again. What percentage of the lens is covered? By now, I think... Uh, upwards of 95%. Wow, I'm just doing like a big patchwork here. There's a little square missing now. <laughs> ah, amazing. Gotta say, guys. This is the most fun I've had in weeks. Because it's been weeks since we last live streamed. You didn't understand that comment. Uh, I don't have fun while we don't live stream. I'm not allowed. I usually talk this much because I'm nervous. But I guess I am about this lens. The insides of this lens. So there's a little square missing. I don't know if you can see it here. Uh, Can't really see that well into the lens. Maybe if you get the light out again. Oh, yeah. Uh, I see. That little square there. Not, not too bad. Yeah, this is just because now I'm being perfectionist. I got a little square here that I can cut into it, so I'm just going to do that. And... I think I'm going to start putting it back together and explain the basic idea of alignment just to wrap it up and pick it up on the next video. Um, oh boy. Tiny little piece. Okay. Smooth. Yeah, there's a few lines here and there, but if they are what ruins everything, uh, I'll be damned. Yeah, I'm not actually going to close the lens. I'm going to clean this uh, mess that I made. How? With this. Ta-da! Okay. And, um, where is it? Here we go. Any opinions of the Isco Gottingen MC two times? The huge golden one. Um, I don't love golden huge lenses. I don't love anything that's gigantic. And 
and wielding as christian put it that's one of my favorite words um uh roman is asking if this is my new favorite projector and nope i would say it's hard for me to choose which is what's my new favorite projector i don't think i have one i wish i had longer fingers though I made it worse. <laughs> we are gonna have to resort to a technique that Max taught me of just using this thing here. Where is it? Did I glue it? I think I taped it. It's using the sensor thing. This little thingy, right? It's this. It's the big one. Okay, so the idea is to use this sensor cleaning thing in conjunction with the sprayed. This goes in, and I can clean it without my fingers getting in the way. Yeah, I guess I should have tilted it upwards because I also can see. And then this out. There's the fucking lighter fluid. Ah, uh, there we go. I wonder what I did in my past life to have uh, such oily hands. Honestly, why? Why did I, what did I do to deserve this? One drop, already one drop too many. This goes back in, da da da. Okay. Here we go. Okay, now I see the lighter fluid. Come on, buddy, evaporate. Your time to shine has passed. It is evaporating now. So hopefully the last time is the lucky turn. All right. There's not such thing as eating too many coconuts. If I could eat a coconut every day, I would. There's no such thing. I used to buy coconuts for 50 cents, well, 50 Brazil, uh, yeah, Brazilian real cents. So that's like 10 cents in Canada when I was a kid. Man, I would drink coconut water until I felt sick. So there's no too many coconuts. <laughs> it's not going away. Arr! <sighs> okay. Uh, I'm just going to keep doing this. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's going to be a little bit, probably. Let's do more. What does this teach me? What did I learn from this? Close. Yes, exactly. That is the absolute only correct answer. Gloves. Uh, do not do this without gloves. You will regret it later, just like how I'm regretting now. But we persist. We continue. We insist in our mistakes. Seven times. I was like, don't do this without gloves. Boom, do it. Does it without gloves. Um, I don't believe in removing 
coatings for flares. I think that's a terrible idea. But we'll talk about it more in the near future. Okay. Looking a lot better now. I got a little bit on this side here and here. So let's see if this does it. Much better now. So hopefully, this is home stretch. Last time. God damn it. There we go. Okay. Okay, I thought you're moving away from vintage lenses. No, I'm moving away from adapters. Uh not from vintage lenses. There's still something here. I don't know how. And I don't know where from. It's a problem for the future. Um Last time I said last time, right? Yeah. Um, early blue ultra stars. Yeah, ultra stars have nearly no flares. Some rare ones do. Okay. Uh, I'm going to continue cleaning this, but... Uh, I won't keep you guys here. If you got any questions, let me know. If you want to support this initiative and just see more live streams, uh, put up a super chat. It's right beneath, and it's that little money sign, which allows you to make a donation for this channel, and it's greatly appreciated. Um, Axel Marshall Productions, I have a co 35 mil anamorphic coming. Any advice? Uh, too many options there. Is it a cine lens? Is it an adapter? Um, but yeah, your support is key in making this channel go forward. So if you want to become a member, that's going to pay off real quick with the Anamorphic Cookbook coming soon. And on the next episode, we're going to go over aligning this Schneider uh, so we get maximum performance and... Uh, excellent results as the lens was supposed to perform instead of uh, misalignment. So that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed it and um, I'll see you then. Stream over. Oh my god. There's so much stuff now here. What the f Fuck. <laughs> uh...